whatever age I would have been at grade eight, that was the first time I actually expressed my emotions around growing up as, as an adopted child. I wrote, I feel like a used plate. Mm. And I don't belong with the other plates in the house where I live. I don't know where I came from. I don't know who I look like. All I know is I don't fit and I don't belong here because I'm not real. I had a whole world of hurt going on inside of my head. And for the next 30 years, I sp every step of my decision-making process, I was constantly scanning the environment, looking for anything that would support my belief that I didn't belong. Anything that was in alignment, unhealthy relationships, bad fitting jobs, uh, friendships, so many things that I sought out that were in alignment with my belief that I didn't belong. I didn't belong in the hand-me-down shirts that I wore of my big brother. I would go shopping with my mom in town. I'd be wearing some of his shirts and I was sure that everybody was looking at me. I didn't belong in those shirts. I didn't belong wearing the ball cap that said Massey Ferguson tractor on it, going with my dad and two brothers to a motorcycle shop to pick up parts. Well, at one point, this older gentleman that worked at the store pointed to this little motorbike beside me. I was about 10 at the time. And he said, could you move that bike backwards, son? I didn't belong wearing a, wearing a hat. I didn't belong with the girls in high school with the painted nails, long flowing hair. Uh -huh. Because my mom never had long hair, so I never had long hair. Wouldn't have known what to do with it. I didn't belong with my college classmates sitting in the cafeteria talking about the dorm parties the night before. Because after class every day, I went to work. I wasn't at the parties. I had nothing to contribute to those stories. I didn't belong in my marriage because I didn't have the voice or the confidence to stand up to someone that was very proficient at emotional and mental manipulation. I didn't belong in that either. I didn't belong in half the jobs I had because they hired me for my creativity and then they handcuffed my creativity when they sat me down at the desk. I didn't belong in any of those places. And I didn't belong in my community after I got divorced because who divorces a farmer? Nobody divorces farmers, they're the salt of the earth. So if you're somebody that walks out on a farmer, you're a bad, bad person. But the biggest part, the most important thing that I gained from that, those years of not belonging was I learned how to have empathy for the experiences of other people. I learned how to keep walking ahead no matter how many times I was left out, left behind, or didn't fit. The truth is you'll never find lasting connection with others and you'll never truly feel as though you belong until you achieve one thing. It's moving your half-hearted attempt at convincing yourself that you belong. Oh yeah, I belong here, that's right. I've got the name tag and I registered, so I belong right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bullshit. Until you can actually stand up in front of that camera and say, I know I belong here. That's when you've arrived. I belong. I found it inside finally. So my friends, if you want to arrive at the place where you know you belong, just keep stepping forward. Keep doing your thing your way. Peel back your layers in your time. Don't let anybody push you, pull you, convince you. Just do it your way in your time. 